Hey everybody, today I'll be showing you how to use the basics of the Quick Mouse tool. You'll find that here under uh, all your other tools. You can also use the shortcut Q to select it or unselect it. Now let's show an example of what it does. I want to select the background billiard of this image. Now it's a bit blurry and a bit strange to select, but you might go for the lasso tool for example. Try to select it. Oh, that was kind of strange might try to go select it, but it goes all wonky and it's like requires a steady hand to do it. You might even go for a mag magnetic lasso tool, but that's also not uh, a very effective way of doing it. Maybe you'll even go for the elliptical marquee tool, but don't do it. <laughs> I'll show you an easier way. Now, uh, I'm going to click the quick mask tool in select my brush in my tools. Um, now what I'm going to do is scale my brush tool up and turn my hardness down a bit and click around the ball. Now you see that turns red? Don't worry, nothing crazy happened because if you unselect the quick mouse tool you'll see that my background uh, billiard is now selected. You can go in and uh, change the hue or something, or maybe even the, uh, the levels, just, I don't know, do whatever you want. Anyway, the point is, it's an easy and fast way to select anything on the document with your um, brush or pen tool or anything else. Now, what's also cool about the Quick Mask tool is that it lets you select multiple areas of your um, document that wouldn't be possible otherwise. Now, so layout, now, say I wanted to select the background billiard and the foreground billiard at the same time. They have different hardnesses around the edges. This one is quite a sharp uh, uh, edge and this one is quite a blurry edge. Now we've already figured out how to do a blurry edge. Now if we want to do the hard edge, all we do is go back into Quick Mask Tool. This is still selected. Um, scale up my brush a bit, or maybe do like this, and then uh, turn up the hardness. Um, we'll just select the ball. Okay, now if we uncheck the Quick Mask tool again, we'll find that both of them are now selected. We can go back in, change the color, or maybe even desaturate it if we wanted to for some reason. Uh, yeah, so that's, it can be done cleaner, but this is the basics of how to use the Quick Mask tool. Hope, it, hope you found it helpful, and uh, until next time.